Okay, so before Joshua House, uh, life just kind of hit me hard. I went through a dark season and didn't really know how to cope with it and decided to handle things with my own means as far as substance abuse. Um, ultimately, it reached a point where my life just became unmanageable, unmanageable and I, uh, I needed a way out. So I, I prayed. I asked God for to open some doors in my life. I didn't know what those would be. And eventually, uh, I caught wind of the Joshua House. And I wasn't aware that there was work-based or work Christian-based programs. And so I was very excited to hear about it and wanted to give it a shot. So I called Gil. So upon talking to Pastor Gill and kind of getting an idea of what the program entailed, uh, it all sounded good to me, so I, I decided to come in. Um, I was met with open arms. Staff members, students were all happy and um, loving, and they, they just surrounded you with care. Um, started working at true church crew a little bit, yard crew, uh, ended up working on tree crew for a while. Um, got the opportunity to intern for a while. Um, so that's been good. It's taught me a lot. Lots of uh, Bible studies, classes. Um, they're very good about keeping you in the Word and, and giving you the direction you need. Um, right now I'm working with Habitat for Humanity. They, they were kind enough to give me an opportunity there, and it's just been nothing but good hard work and good direction. So I thank them for that. So after graduation, um, I have a few options. I ultimately I plan staying in the area. Um, like I said, God's done a lot for me as far as saving my life, and I just I want to be connected to the church and the worship band and everybody here because it's they help me out so much. I just want to give back. Um, I do have the opportunity to be a, to be a staff member um, if, if I wanted it. Uh, I have a couple of job opportunities lined up just in case, so at this point I'm just kind of praying to see what doors God opens um, and just try to make the best decision for me and my son and family involved and you know I'm just I'm excited for it, so we'll see. I'd like to give a big, big shout out to uh, and a thank you to Pastor Jim, Pastor Gill, all of you in the congregation. Um, your guys' efforts and, and the things that you do here to provide this program for us is it's life changing and it's life saving. So thank you. Um, shout out to Miss Lisa, Miss Edna, um, you guys, and Grandma Dottie. Um, you guys have all again wrapped us in love, and I thank you for it. Um, my roommates, Francisco, Cadell, and Nick. You guys helped me more than you could ever know. Thank you for being good roommates. Um, yeah, you've all just been a huge, massive blessing in my life, so thank you.